Today we're going to be testing the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 from 2017 with Google's original Pixel, the Pixel 1 XL. The twist in this test though is that the Galaxy Note 8 is using the Exynos processor and not a Snapdragon. Okay, which one do you think is going to win? Let's find out. So we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 with the Exynos 8895 on the left hand side and we have the Pixel XL, we can call it now the Pixel 1 XL uh, on the right hand side and it has the Snapdragon 821. It's from 2016, the latter part of 2016. The Note 8 was released in the latter part of 2017. So there's a year between these two devices with the Pixel 1 XL being the older of the two. But this is Exynos versus Snapdragon. Is this going to make any difference as we are now into the SQL light test? I've many a time been amazed at the speed of the Samsung and other devices going through this. Like this. That's not the case for either of these two devices. That was pretty slow as we're now into the Jason test on the left hand side. So at the moment, the Galaxy Note 8 is leading. It's the newer phone by a year. So we really would hope that it would be in the lead. And the thing to notice here is that both are running in roughly the same screen resolution. That's 1440p. As we are now into the compression test, the compression test zips up a whole bunch of files and unzips them and zips them up again and therefore testing how well the CPU can crush that amount of data and also a bit about how well the file system can read and write that data and again nothing particularly blazing fast but we are now into the 16 thread test for the Galaxy Note 8 now because this is the Exynos 8895 it is an octa-core processor it has four uh, Samsung designed mongoose second generation cores, M2 cores we call them, and four Cortex A53 cores, and of course the Snapdragon 821 in the Pixel 1 XL is a quad core processor. Uh, four cryo cores all designed by Qualcomm themselves, that's what they decided to do for the Snapdragon 821. Now as I said that we are now into the uh, mixed part of the test on the left hand side we have the infinite scrolling test is now going on we've been through the blur test as the 16 thread test is taking its time there on the pixel 1 xl it's not yet and look at the pattern there. it's crazy. there's one coming up from there and there he is and he just finished the past uh, went past the finish post there as it went into the bloom test on the left hand side we are now into the smoke particle test it will be interesting to see what we are going to get on the frame rate from the galaxy note 8 running in 1440p 9 10 frames a second there by the way, we've gone past a two minute mark on the counter. This is gonna be one of those slower tests, not the same as a Snapdragon 865 or even a Snapdragon 855. These are much slower tests as we go into the user test on the left hand side, a bit of a blank screen there for a little while by the uh, Note 8. So that's starting to go and that's looking a bit, a bit, a bit stuttery there. We can't say that's a very fast frame rate. What's the frame rate gonna be on the right hand side for the smoke particle test? Let's see what we get now. Remember it was 910 on the left hand side. What we're gonna get on the right hand side, seven. So clearly there for 2D graphics, the Galaxy Note 8 is doing much better than the Pixel 1 XL as now a clear lead being built up by the Galaxy Note 8. It's roughly halfway through the unity test, then it will go into the Unreal test and the Pixel 1 XL is still starting up the unity test. There we go, it's now into unity test, but a quick look at that, it's a higher frame rate. I would say that's a lot smoother than what we're seeing in the Galaxy Note 8. And this is going to be interesting because it's actually moving quite quickly now. It's up to the castle, up to the sky and coming down to the valley where we already find the Galaxy Note 8 is already in the valley. There's a dinosaur head. It's going to swing right. They're both swinging right now. Who's going to go there? Don't tell me the Pixel 1 is now going to take the lead at the very end. But no, just at the moment, just at the moment, the, go, the Note 8 has gone into the Unreal test first, but not far behind it is the Pixel 1 XL. It's now going into the Unreal test but the Note 8 is still in the lead as it's making its way through the forest down the path whoever gets into the path first will be the winner whoever gets to that finish line and again looking at the right hand side we can see that's looking a bit smoother by the Pixel 1 XL is definitely going quicker so it's a race to the end of the path a race to the end of the track who's going to get there who's going to cross the finish line this is going to be very interesting we've still got a little way to go we're getting there we're getting to the end of the path and there we go the Pixel 1 XL with 4 minutes and 6 seconds Seconds. And the Note Galaxy Note 8 is still going on. The clock is still ticking. It hasn't yet reached the end of the path. So really, it has not done well during this Unreal test at all. It's not been able to keep up with the older Pixel 1 XL. There we go. What's the final time? 4 minutes 22.9. Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. 
So we all saw that the Pixel 1 XL got to the end of that path first, giving it an overall time of four minutes, six seconds, point three. And then quite a while later, the Galaxy Note 8 came in, four minutes, 22.9. But what actually happened? Well, if you look at the CPU times, we can see 129.1 for the Galaxy Note 8 and 159.5 for the Pixel 1 XL. So clearly the CPU setup in the Galaxy Note 8 is far superior to that of the Pixel 1 XL. And then when we get into the mixed CPU, GPU, we see another win for the Galaxy Note 8, 49.6 seconds for the Galaxy Note 8, 55.4, not such a big difference between these two, but still a definite win there for the Galaxy Note 8. But when we get into the GPU, everything is turned upon its head. Two minutes and four seconds for the Galaxy Note 8, whereas it's one minute and 11.3 seconds for the Pixel 1 XL. So it was able to claw back a big difference there between the, uh, the CPUs and the GPU sections. And because of that, it came in the overall winner, four minutes and six seconds, point three. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these videos and want to see more of them, then hit that subscribe button because I'm releasing them as often as I can. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.